So third year is the start of their capstone project where they are put into larger groups and they're asked to design a game. When they show up in September their first year, they, we expect them to know absolutely nothing. By the time they leave in Term 6, they should be able to make a fully designed, um, programmed and played game. I, I like our program because it teaches you the big three things of design and good things. One is programming, the other is art, and the other is design. The basic premise of the idea of the game is that the world, the world is dying, and you've been summoned by the Earth to save it. It's not like you're just going through like a series of trials, it's also telling a story at the same time. So the game is a uh, post-apocalyptic strategy game. What happened is the, it's the end of the world, there's a few survivors left that they want to try to survive and scavenge for food and live. You play as one tribe and you're fighting for the other tribe to get these resources. And because there's not enough, you want to destroy the other tribe and grab their resources too. Hey, look what I found. What do you want? Uh, today we're recording audio for our games. It's mostly just dialogue today. I'm gonna nail you. I'm ready, sucker. I, you can do things with games that you just can't do with film or just like any other medium, really. Movies, you can set a scene and you can tell a story, but you can't really have the player affect the story or feel that they are affecting it, right? Whereas in a game, you can kind of set them up and you can give them a choice. You don't really have that, have a whole lot of previous knowledge. If you have a passion and you're willing to dedicate time to that passion, and especially in this course, if you put in that time, it pays off. I want to make interesting games. It, it, I think that's everyone's goal. They want to they want to hit their players. They want to, they want something to talk about. Uh, but I want something that makes them think. I, I like the in intellectual games, not just the strategy games, but the games that really think it's like, what is human society, or what am I about myself? Where like a horror game where you are the monster. I, I like those type of intellectual games where it makes you think about it. All our courses have some kind of game component, really. Um, like years and years ago, when there were no game schools, you came out with a computer science degree or an art degree. And now, when you come out of a game design school, you should have assets to show the things that you've been working on. So um, when they come out of the here and the capstone project, and some of their environment courses and their character courses, they should be able to put a demo reel together, um, basically to advertise all the skills that they have and be able to talk about them. So that's the, that's the end goal.